Greetings and salutations to everyone. Welcome back to another episode of VSPN. Anyway, can you guys believe that we only have 78 more episodes of VSPN? Wow, really? That's it? It's pretty insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, you know, yeah. also, uh, our boys' soccer won their game on Wednesday against Columbia, and so did our girls' soccer. Well, with that out of the way, here's some highlights. Those are some pretty good highlights. Oh yeah. Well, did you know that we have a published author at our school? Who? Uh, like who? Well, <laughs> well uh, you'll just have to watch our new Spotlight interview to find out. Roll the clip. Thank you guys. Today for VSPN, I will be interviewing Principal Zucker on his new book, Sentinels of Atlantis. So for those who don't know what your book is about and are watching VSPN, could you give a brief summary of your book? I'd be happy to. Uh, Sentinels of Atlantis starts off on the lost continent of Atlantis and the legend behind it, uh, its destruction, and then it comes up into modern times and talks about what really happened to the civilization, that it still exists, and our protagonist, our hero, Drake Mallory, who's a former Marine captain, uh, wounded in combat, um, finds himself in the Bermuda Triangle, ends up in Atlantis, and then from there, he befriends uh, the leader of the Sentinels, who are a group trying to protect Atlantis. And as it turns out, he discovers that the king of Atlantis, his evil twin brother, is trying to take over for him. And the political intrigue begins. And the next thing we find, uh, Drake has to try to save Atlantis. And uh, Dargon, who is the, the bad guy in this, wants to take over the entire planet. And Drake's got to try to save it. So in that, the fun begins. So what inspired you to make this book? I love telling stories. When my kids were uh, young, I used to make up stories, and then I'd mm -hmm. do it in different accents, different voices. And they said, Dad, you need to write some of this stuff down. So uh, I'm a history teacher by trade, love ancient history. So that's where I got excited about Atlantis. And then the stories just kind of flew from there. And I also like science fiction and fantasy, so <laughs> it helped. So uh, what inspired you to make the title? Well, again, it, obviously where it takes place, Atlantis, most people know at least a little something. They've heard about it. Mm -hmm. um, the Sentinels are guardians. And uh, so I had come up with the title. And I will say I, I, it was going to be Guardians of Atlantis, well before Guardians of the Galaxy, by the way, came out. <laughs> um, but I, I like the, the term Sentinels. It, it was a little closer to what I was looking for as far as titles and who they were. So are you planning on making a sequel? I'm actually almost done with the sequel. If, for those of you who have read it and those of you that, that might be interested in reading it, it actually ends. It, you have to have a sequel to it. So I am polishing up the, uh, the ending. I'm about three quarters away and hopefully I, my goal is to have it published by the time we go to summer. Will it just be a two-part sequel, or will it be a series? No, it'll be a series. I already have the outline done for the third version of it, and then there's some other things. I've got some other ideas to build off of it. Wow. So, so what was the hardest part about writing this book? Starting. <laughs> uh, sitting down and, and putting all the ideas together, organizing thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, the fun part of it, though, was during the writing of the book was just starting to write characters and then really liking them and they were only supposed to be small characters and the next thing you knew they became big just because they were they were fun and I really liked what they did so that that part I really enjoyed in the writing process um, but just you know trying to the the science of it trying to make it somewhat believable and mm -hmm. doing the research to make sure that the things we were coming up with were feasible uh, before writing this book did you have any previous writing experience uh, I won a couple writing contests in high school uh, other than that, not really. I, I did some uh, articles for my college newspaper, usually uh, shockingly sports stuff. Um, but other than that, no, I really hadn't sat down and written any kind of novel. I just sat down one day, started typing away, and next thing I know, I had a book. <laughs> Have you always wanted to write a book? Yeah, that, you know, people talk about bucket lists. That was one of mine I wanted to do before uh, I, I, I left this planet, so I at least got one off the way, out of the way. So. 
Okay, so thank you, Mr. Zucker. Back to you guys. Thanks, Adriana. Now to the breaking news. Uh, there's no breaking news, actually. Whoa. <laughs> but, but next Tuesday, there's girls' senior night. So you better come out and show your support yes. because guess what? The first 40 people get what, Haley? Pizza! Hey! Oh my god, so... You're gonna enjoy some delicious pizza while you watch a great match. Oh yeah, check in at the beginning of the game and you'll get pizza at halftime, so yes. you better be there. And if you want to see Brett the Farmer, Yes, will be Brett there. the Farmer who made him go viral. What oh, is it yeah. now, like 20,000 likes or something? <sighs> something like that. Something like that. Some Prop pizza. star guy Brett. <laughs> He's thriving. <laughs> um, but tonight, we have volleyball at Rocky Mountain, and we also, I'm here, we have a football game? Oh yeah, we got We got Friday Night Lights? At CUNA. So CUNA. You better be so there. So make the trip out to go support our boys. Just go show your support. It's their homecoming, so we have to take them. Oh yeah, we got to make sure they know who Valley View is. Oh yeah. Bring it home, boys. We believe gold. <laughs> Only gold. Only gold. Yeah. And well. Take down Caveman. Yeah. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.